In today's episode of How to Excer, we're going to do more about riding outside, specifically some of the fantastic Excer apps you can find on your Garmin. I've taken the GoPro outside and shown you exactly how I did a Excer workout outside in the simplest way that I can and still keeping the ride enjoyable. Okay, let me show you how I set up my Garmin. Let me show you the ride and I'll see you back here as we review the workout. So to set up time to exhaustion on your Garmin, you need to open up the Garmin Connect app and make sure your phone is connected. Click on the little icon at the top and then come down to activities and apps and then data fields. You need to have added the time to exhaustion data field from Excerpt. Now while this is loaded up, I'm just gonna look at the workout parameters of the ride I'm about to do and the intervals are 451 watts. So I'm gonna come into the time to exhaustion and go to the settings and let this load up. So I'm looking for 451s. The default is normally set at 500. So it's not gonna make a massive difference, but if I can come down here and change that to 451, I can leave the custom target MPA, time to recovery watts, that's all okay. I can leave that exactly as it was. And target recovery MPA, I'm going to make sure matches my current maximum power available which is 1104 you don't need to change this too often every now and then once in a while depending on how much you want to ride outside here we go then my garmin is now reading that 451 watts as my time to exhaustion let's go for a ride and let's show you what happens minutes worth of warm-up done now coming up to a slightly undulating piece of road which is going to be awesome for putting in some little 20 second bursts remember I'm trying to do a combination of some 20 second bursts that will draw down MPA and some that let it completely recover let's get into it so cool now 25 minutes in MPA is pretty much recovered all the way just starting to approach another little little rise here I'm trying to keep those numbers in the blue while we do the recovery beautiful river so lucky right let's put the camera away again so four intervals let an MPA recover in between each one <laughs> let's go now that's four rest hall ones done got a bit of a hill coming up perfect opportunity for four that brings down MPA. Let's go. Went a bit hard. Got a breakthrough. Yay. Hey. Well, I hope that was useful for you. That was about the only sunny day that we've had around here recently. I was just grabbed a weather window and just shot outside. The rest of my week has pretty much been in the gym and strength training and on the bit of turbo trainer. I'm gonna show you that in a second. First of all, let's have a look at that workout. So. Here we go, here is the workout that I just completed. Let's get rid of my picture. You don't need to see me for a while. And yeah, here we go. So the, the main points from this are really that these intervals here, so one, two, three, four, you can just see drawing down MPA each time. Now, unfortunately, at the end of that, there's another little rise and I couldn't let MPA recover, but as soon as I could, MPA recovered and as soon as MPA recovered again back up to its normal position I did those one two three four each time letting MPA come back up to its normal position now there's a little hill going on here and so it's just riding outside so what I actually did was actually do my next four one two three really close together which is where I got that breakthrough in the video um, because I drew, drew down MPA a bit too much no big deal I felt absolutely great why the hell not um, and then I had to go down here a little bit and then did my best to try and get my fourth little sprint in there after that this lovely little cruise down the valley going downhill MPA fully rested and as soon as MPA was up and rested go one two three four another little sprints 
just about managing to draw down MPA, probably not enough, and then actually had a fantastic tailwind. So I just uh, zoomed back at a nice tempo and just enjoyed that tailwind for a bit. Now, this is the outcome of the workout. This is what I was trying to achieve, which isn't too bad. So we probably... We brought down MPA more than expected, but we still did four close together. We did four allowing MPA to recover. We took that long rest in between, four close together, and actually really easily exceeded the other workout. So it only asked me for 60 points of XSS and 376 kilojoules of work. A big part of this is because at the moment I'm doing all of that strength training and the weather is so bad, really struggling to get out and do the volume. So I'm still sit here and at one star, which is, you know, about right. Now, this is actually a really important thing because exert does work fantastically, but it's, you've got to kind of know how to use the system and get it to work for you. And it doesn't work great when you're constantly changing parameters. Now, I'm one of those athletes that is a pain to coach because if it's a sunny day I want to be outside if it's a rainy day I want to be inside it doesn't necessarily fit with a a normal coach schedule that someone might write for you and also I enjoy lots of other things I like I like walking I like strength training and that sort of thing so I use excerpt really just to help inform decisions and that's what I encourage the, the athletes that are down here with us to do as well I very much encourage the idea of being self-coached making really good informed decisions and exit is a great way of making really good decisions when you need to now into the planner and you can see how things have changed since the last episode and the big thing is that I replaced that ride that I've just shown you with that outdoor ride that's been here on Thursday the weather came back in again and just did this really good hard session uh, in in the strength studio actually I should probably put my fatigue slide up a little bit to compensate for that because that was a hard session um, did some really cool stuff hit some hit some new PBs really really happy with that um, yeah solid but that's telling me for Friday and the weekend looking into this um, today this is Friday it's going to be essentially this after midnight 60s and endurance ride all zone two super easy I'm going to do that as a walk at this part in the season I don't need to worry too much about specificity and a good 60 minute brisk walk is going to be far more fun in this weather than it is being out there on the bike however at the weekend I've got to get some serious endurance back in again so 180 minutes and a 90 minute ride in there which I'm really looking forward to actually it should be good to um, get outside and do that and then on Monday, it's going to be showing me as tired. I'm going to probably doubt that. I'll check in with you. But Monday intensity, that is the session that you're all welcome to come along and join us with. We're doing a 13 interval set. Um, let me just show you. This is what we've got planned. This is how you come along and join. Just come along and join the session here. Uh, click in. You can see what the session is that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing these 13 intervals and in the session I'm going to be coaching you through this to really how to attack quite hard intervals and then to try and make intelligent decisions as we go about at what point do you really go for it to try and get those breakthroughs. So hopefully we'll be just edging our way through this to get a possible breakthrough towards the end of this workout. I'm really looking forward to a breakthrough on my high intensity energy which I think is a little bit out and probably um, my maximum power as well which I think is a little bit out really not fussed about threshold power at the moment it's really not something I'm training that comes later in the year okay <laughs> now with that all set I just want to say a thank you for all your questions and feedback it's been really really encouraging uh, I just started this video series as a way to just help people get into Excerpt and start overcoming the initial hurdles, but it's thrown up all sorts of really fascinating ideas. I'm just making this video series as I go along. I'll try and answer those as I go, but yeah, please, please keep them coming. It really helps if you just want to subscribe. I actually have a podcast as well where I talk about a lot more of the really technical aspects and it goes on a little bit longer. This is really just about day-to-day uh, admin and usage of excerpt but i'm really glad you're enjoying it and i'll see you on the next one thanks